Uh, 14 Supreme Court justices have called for the probe of the CJN based on allegations of ignoring their repeated demand for improved welfare. This is despite the upward review of the budgetary allocation of the judiciary. Uh, this appears unprecedented in, in at least over five decades. To use the word, not to use the word of the CJN, would anyone blame these justices for dancing naked in the market? Well, um, I don't want to describe what they've done as dancing naked in the market. Remember, this was um, a memo directed to the CDM, not meant for public consumption, but somehow it leaked to the press. The judges had spoken to the CDN in March, expressing their concern about the degrading and the dehumanizing state of their welfare. They expected the CGN to do something, but the CGN didn't take any action. So for these old men, the matter had certainly reached a head. If I were in their shoes, I would take the same action. I would even go out. I will even mobilize fellow judges to publicly protest, to down tools. Because extreme situations require extreme measures. These are people who cannot or must not be seen to be taking contracts, to be taking bribes from the public. So how then do they survive? If their basic entitlements are denied them. I mean, if things had not degenerated, certainly these judges will have behaved like others before them, and they will have uh, not had any reason to complain. And certainly, if not for the apparently poor leadership traits that the CGN as exhibited, his own colleagues would not have turned against him. And what we are seeing is a situation in which even retired judges that the CGN enlisted to help him talk to these judges have failed in convincing them that the step that they are taking was not necessary or that they should not take any step further on this matter. What the judges are asking for is for the books of the judiciary to be looked at, to be in, for the judiciary to be investigated by the anti graft agencies. As far as they are concerned, investigating the finances of the judiciary, especially, especially funds allocated to the Supreme Court, will not amount to a breach of separation of powers. They have no reason, they, they can't find any reason why what is happening is happening. Remember, Justice Eko, who retired on May 23 or so, also demanded that the judiciary should be investigated by the anti graft agencies. It means that before Justice Ejembe Eko left the Supreme Court, before he left the highest court of the land, he too had seen 
some of what his fellow judges have just complained about. So there is something going on in the judiciary. There is some level of corruption in the Supreme Court. There is some level of fraud going on in the judiciary that ensures that what is due to judges do not get to them. I mean, these are old men. They are supposed to go for training and workshops from time to time. And when they are going, they are entitled to having one person accompany them because of age. Some of them are close to 70 years. Some will be 70 just a matter of months. They need someone to assist them. These rights have been denied them. Yet, before their very eyes, the same CGN who has not approved their trips abroad for training will travel abroad with his family members and other people. These judges are located vehicles that are not good enough. No one has denied that what those judges said was wrong. The only thing the CGN said was that the, the, the issues were being addressed. So how could anyone allow things to degenerate this bad day in the highest court in the, uh, in the land? It may not even be the CGN that is guilty. It could be top civil servants. But we will never get to the root of this matter unless the anti-graft agencies are invited to investigate thoroughly the claims and the complaints made by these judges. How can the register of the courts be telling judges that they cannot stay in their offices beyond 4 p.m. because they like the, the, the uh, electricity, I mean, diesel, um, the generator will be switched off. The executive enjoys much more privileges than the, uh, the, the judges enjoy, like, like the judiciary enjoys. We are asked, they are supposed to be at par. So, if the Supreme Court has been so disrespected over the years, it has a lot to do with the quality of leadership of the Supreme Court. And these are not just complaints about welfare, but complaints about the quality of leadership or lack of it of the CGN. So I'm happy that the body of benchers have waded in. I'm happy that the uh, Senate too has uh, mandated this, uh, this committee on judiciary to investigate what's going on. Because this is a big shame to our nation that things could get this bad. And the earlier these concerns are addressed, the better. It's been said repeatedly that judges are so poorly paid yet heavily overworked in our country. There are some people heading agencies, government agencies in our country, earning 10 times the wages of judges. Yet we want those judges to simply button up their mouths when they can see that their rights are being taken away, should not complain. Whether it's their own job to restore the rights of the ordinary man, when the rights of the ordinary man get trampled upon. So no one should speak for, for, for judges. Certainly this can't be right. 